We start this half hour with the hope that those who have recovered from coronavirus can actually help others get better as well. An emergency clinical trial involves gathering blood plasma from previous patients for a possible treatment. ABC's Zachary Keish joins us live from the Javits Center in New York City, which has been transformed into a temporary field hospital with more on that story. Zachary, good morning. Rit, good morning to you as well. There is a lot of hope and optimism around this treatment, and right now folks are looking for that in any way they can. So here's essentially how it works. Somebody who has had and beaten coronavirus then donates their plasma. The antibodies in that plasma are then used to help somebody else in their fight. This morning, there's increased attention on an emerging therapy for coronavirus. Plasma, FDA approved for experimental treatment, is being used on an emergency basis to help with life-threatening COVID-19 cases. Alessandra Miller says she felt blindsided when she tested positive for the virus in New York. Now, symptom-free, she jumped at the chance to help someone else, becoming the first person in the state to donate. That really you know, kind of shifted that narr that internal narrative, uh, you know, from that, you know, kind of villain. Finally, I have like the opportunity to, to maybe save a life. Researchers, scientists, and medical professionals have been scrambling to find a remedy to blunt the virus's momentum. There are very few options available for patients with a very severe COVID-19 infection. So this is uh, one potential way to really make a difference in treating the severity of infection. Eligible donors go through a screening process similar to blood donation, but they also need a documented positive COVID-19 diagnosis to be symptom free for at least 14 days and then to test negative for the virus before donating. In San Diego, Jason Garcia recovered after testing positive last month. His plasma was used to help treat a patient in the ICU. Start raising your hand saying, hey, I, I got blood I can give, I can save other people. I mean, this is people's, you know, fathers, mothers, grandparents, you know, all these critically ill people that um, they're going to need it. And in Miami, Mayor Francis Suarez becoming the first person in the state of Florida to donate. And those of us who are fortunate enough, like I was, to have experienced mild symptoms or very low symptoms, uh, have have to give back. And I think what we've seen with this COVID-19 phenomenon throughout the whole process is our community coming together. Without a vaccine, there is a lot of excitement about these therapies. Now, NBA players who have been impacted by the coronavirus are also participating as donors in this process. Dan, Eva, back to you. Yeah, it's really exciting. We, do, we need some hope. Hopefully it's, it's real hope, but it sounds promising. It really does. Zachary, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.